The fleet seemed very big, and its ravens very tough. Or maybe he was just slower and weaker than before. He hated the idea of poisoning the enemy. It wasn't fair. Face to face with a raven, let the best swordsmen survive. But they wouldn't even know what was killing them. Feather by feather, scale by scale. He didn't mind dying a hero. That sometimes went with being a hero. But he didn't feel at all like a hero. Not today. The portal was heavily guarded. Must go someplace they really didn't want him to go. feel more pain. Just a bit... dizzy. His hook didn't break. Ready to blossom within him, or something. Want their things broken, they really ought to make them stronger. He was exhausted. He was making stupid mistakes. His fur was coming off in bunches. Up ahead, he could see the Emperor's ship, long and sleek, a floating palace. The bomb would only poison a circle a hundred paces wide. He would get as close as he could, set it, and run. Oh, this is a lousy way to win a rebellion, he thought. He didn't want a medal for this. He just wanted to be forgotten. Renato had always wanted a flying carpet. 
this was more like a flying kick. What do we do? Warlocks. The way they could hurt you and you couldn't hurt them back. Twisted the timer and the bomb as far as it would go, and staggered off. His knees hurt. Oh, everything hurt. He staggered away as far as he could until he had to lie down. He could see the entire Imperial fleet from here, and the rebel ships engaged with it. There was a blinding flash. And a second later, a monstrous thump. Burning rocks arced across the sky over both fleets. A wreath of fire shot outwards, rolling across the fleets. A pillar of smoke boiled up from where the Emperor's ship had been. It reached into the clouds. That's a wee bit more than a hundred paces, thought Renato. It took Renato most of that evening to die. Some of the toughest ravens lasted all week. Some of the rebels in the furthest ship survived as much as a month. That winter, with neither empire nor rebels to rule them, the islands slid into banditry. And so began the second age of darkness. Renato stared at the book. He was still alive. Again. And still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure? Or only dreamt it? Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But... He had made different choices, and he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny. But this, this was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learned another true thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly.